Let's take a look at how we can use Google Sheets to evaluate value at risk. Now, value at risk, or VAR, is a risk management approach that attempts to quantify potential losses. Um, it's different from volatility, which treats the gains the same as the losses. So what we're looking at is the risk of losing money. So when we look at standard deviation, right, we look at the deviation around the mean, around the expected value. So doing better than we expect is considered bad. Doing worse than we expect is considered bad. But in reality, we don't care about making more money or having a better return than we expect. We care about having a worse return than we expect. So what are the components of VAR? The time period, the confidence level, and the loss amount. So for example, it answers a question like, what is the most I can with 95% level of confidence expect to lose in dollar terms over the next month? Right? We care about that. That's what banks care about. That's what you know insurance companies care about. That's what we all care about. We have a portfolio of, of stocks. You know, how much can I lose over the next month or the next year with some level of confidence? So how do we do these calculations? Well, one is we can use the historical method. We can create a histogram of actual returns, and this gives us a distribution. So we get a distribution that looks something like this, and we're looking at hey, what's the worst that can happen, right? This is the worst 5%. So this is the lower bound here. So with the variance-covariance method, it assumes that stock returns are normally distributed, and we have, with 95% confidence, minus 1.96 times the standard deviation, or 99%, minus 2.58 times the standard deviation. So for example, um, if the standard deviation is 2.64% and the average daily returns are close to zero, then we expect with 95% confidence, minus 5.17%. With 99%, minus 6.81%. And again, you get this distribution, and here's what you care about. The good side, right, when you're above the mean, is not a problem. We care about this, what's the worst that can happen to us. So let's take a look in Google Sheets at an example. Suppose we happen to have some portfolio returns for 12 months, okay? Some periods are good, some periods are bad, etc. And let's take a look. What's the expected return? Well, we can just average this. And we get the average return is 1.09%. Now, it's a small data set, so if we wanted to know what's the worst uh, we could do here, we could just look at all the numbers. It looks like May is the worst month with minus 3.31%. But if you have a bigger data set, it might be harder to eyeball. So let's use the min function to find the minimum value here. And let's again highlight all of these. and we get minus 3.31%. So the value at risk is we care about what's the probability of being below a certain amount? What's the, you know, 95% 95 95 confidence do we feel we're not going to lose more than this amount? So in this case, we can use something called percentile dot inc. So it's the value at a given percentile of a uh, data set inclusive of um, all the numbers. So we're going to put that in, and we're going to highlight these. And 
wait a minute, we have to put in a percentile. So let's put in 0 0.05. So we're talking 5% confidence. And what do we get? We get minus 3.85. Let me format that here. So minus 3.08%. So there is no 3.08%, but we feel 95% certain that we're not going to lose more than 3.08%. What if we wanted to do this for um, a 1% confidence or 99% confidence interval? So again, we'll use this percent. No, we don't want percent rank. We want percentile.inc. And again, I'm going to highlight the data. and put in 0 0.01 and we get 3.2%, negative 3.26%. So we feel 99% certain that we're not going to lose more than minus 3.26%. So if you go back to the uh, slides I had here, right? what this is finding for us is the values to the left and that means that for example 99 percent lie to the right of the value that we computed using um, Google Sheets so we feel quite certain that we're not going to lose more than 3.26 percent in any month.